Hey guys, Coach Amelia Dear here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are feeling good and doing good. Um, I'm not really talking so loud because it's nice and quiet here. And I don't know. I feel like everybody be listening. Well, maybe not. I don't know. But guys, let's talk about today's topic. Today's topic is successful single women. Okay, there's a lot of successful single women okay and we are out there just basically you know single and wondering like why am i single you know what i'm saying like i want to be having this beautiful relationship that you see online and things like that and i'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret okay this pandemic that passed a lot of women became single and it's your time to grow for you you know what i'm saying we we are single because we have certain standards we often i say we because i'm a successful single woman as well but you know we often can intimidate men you know like men are known to be hunters and things like that now i'm not going to talk for the men i don't like to talk for the men because I'm not a man, you know what I'm saying? But I do like to talk for my ladies because what you got to realize is you being single is not a curse. You being single is not something bad. And the world that we live in has made it, has made, you know, you, if you're single watching this video, has made you feel like I'm not complete because I'm single. Or I can't have fun because I'm single. Or whatever it is because I'm single. And I'm going to just let y'all know all of that is a lie. All of that was p posted in the world by probably, uh, I don't know, uh, I, I don't want to call them dog men. But you know what I'm saying? It was posted out there just so that women could become more desperate so we could feel like we need a man or we need a relationship or you know we need we need we need and ladies you don't need any of that okay all of that is just plastered out there so that you could be afraid to go out look 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 like this men go out all the time they go to the clubs they go to the bars and what they do they get them a drink and then they go fish they go looking around for whatever woman they want to get and that's totally okay, right? Everybody, everybody fine with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Now, ladies, I'm not saying go out, get you a drink, and go fish. No. We're not going to do what the men do, okay? Two wrongs don't make a right, okay? But go out. Go out and have you a good time. Go out to the bar and sit proudly. A lot of times we go out and we're nervous. You know what I'm saying? We're like, okay, there's a man in. Like, Men can read that. So when you going now, you have to shift your energy, shift your mind and realize like it's okay to go out and not be looking to be taken. You know what I'm saying? Like some of y'all be going out with a big sign that says single and waiting. You know what I'm saying? Like it got lights going across of it. Single waiting. So when you have that single and waiting it's making you get anxiety. It's making you feel feared. It's making you feel like, all right, I'm just going to go inside. No. Oh, go inside. Yes. Have you one night? Yes. Hang out with your girls. Yes. But ladies, when you're going out, you're not going out to, excuse me, you're not going out to fish. You're not going out to accidentally run into your Mr. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's not why you're going out. So when you go out as a single lady or you just go out to have you a drink, shift your mind. Go out proudly, look cute, because it's nothing desperate about looking cute. They want you to think that, okay? They want to keep lowering your standards. Whoever they is, they is whoever is trying to stop you from enjoying your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, your 80s, okay? Your teens, okay, teens, y'all need to chill out. Y'all need to go read a book, okay? <laughs> but, ladies, it's a lie. And what you got to understand is that when you go to a right vibe and you go with a good set energy, you're going to start to attract what's really for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, my birthday week, it just passed, as we know. I'm going to just refer to it because it was just the most recent thing and... There was one night 
Where? I went out by myself. And then everybody was like, you by yourself? I was like, nah, my friend in the car. You know what I'm saying? She's sick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't be so scary. Some of us be so scary or so nervous or so... But do you a couple jumping jacks. Put you your little uplifted music on. Watch this video if you have to before you go out. And don't go out all night. Don't go out staring. Don't go out getting too, you know what I'm saying, wasted. No. Go out for like an hour, two hours, mingle, lingle. Be you. Some of us are so afraid to be us because we think someone is going to judge us. Or we think someone is going to... Who knows what we be thinking in our mind. You know what I'm saying? But understand, lady, it's all, ladies, it's all in your mind. Single moms, too. It ain't over. It ain't over. You can still go on out there, get you a babysitter. I'm going to just go relax and enjoy me and go to a good scene. You don't want to go to a crazy, crazy scene where there's too many people and you can't even enjoy yourself. Go to a wine tasting. Oh, my gosh. As a single woman, I love to go to the wine tasting, okay? I go give me a little wine taste, give me a glass of the one I like the best, laugh, and everybody be kiki and They be like, Kiki, you like that wine? I be like, Kiki, yeah, girl, it's good. Kiki, they be just chatting. It just be a good vibe. It be a good energy. They done forgot that I'm sitting here by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the, that's the little fear that you have to push through is being by yourself or someone noticing you're by yourself once you get over that little fear that i'm by myself you know what i'm saying it don't even matter it don't matter i promise you it don't matter and if you got a business or you got whatever you want mingle and meet me some friends hang her in my car hand out your car <laughs> Go out there, have a good time. By the time, wherever I go, if I do go by myself, they be like, Amelia, you the life of the party. I be like, yes, I am. Yeah, I sure am. I be having me a good time, okay? And sometimes, honestly, like, I will go out with my friends or whatever, and they be kind of, sometimes they could be a little dry, sorry, friends. And I be like, all right, I'm about to lead them. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes my friends don't be so hype like me. Like, I just be, whoo, they be making, they don't want, my friends the ones that make me nervous. Like, no, oh, don't do that. No, no, no. I be like, girl, <laughs> go over there. I'm sneaking away. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be sneaking away for my, some of my friends. Sorry, friends, if y'all watching this. But, no, I ain't sorry. Because it's like you only live once. You know what I'm saying? And because you live in single at the moment, it shouldn't be the topic in your head you know what i'm saying like it shouldn't be your focus so you're focusing on that you are single right now all right write it down put it in the pen text your friend whatever i'm texting to yourself i am single you know what i'm saying okay send it send it in the email we get it you know what i'm saying and let it go because <laughs> it's okay it is okay like, I don't, I don't know how someone was able to control so many single women and being afraid to just step outside their comfort zone a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And make sure you're dressed appropriately. You don't want to be dressed like, I'm single. You know what I'm saying? Like, I sell. No. I ain't say that. Take... Okay. Cover yourself up. Put on some some nice cute pants. You can show out. You can wear something tight, but you know, lengthy, lengthy <laughs> shoes. Make sure your toes is done cute. You know what I'm saying? Hair. Okay. You can't get you a nice wig. Okay. Amber Rose. It. Okay. Well, she ain't a good example, but her hair is cute. Oh no, what you call it? Just did it. Oh my goodness, I loved her hair. Um. What's her name? I can't think of her name right now. But she funny. And she did it nice and blonde and cute. And just start to just embrace who you are. Whoever you are right now at the moment is who you are. And embrace it. I know who you may want to be. I know what you may want to look like. But it's just not true right now. And 
that's okay. That is okay. And I was driving. All my all my great ideas come when I be driving. That's why I kind of love to get in the car and just catch a breeze. You know what I'm saying? But I was driving and I was just I was thinking about. I'm not gonna say nobody names because I don't want y'all to go thinking I'm talking about anybody. But I was just looking at certain certain um celebrities that are famous. You know what I'm saying? Successful, wonderful. Yeah, they may not have a man, but maybe they didn't have a coach. You know what I'm saying? So you might be a step ahead of the game because you can get you a little life coach, self love, self healing, business. Okay, life get you a coach so that you could learn from maybe other people's mistakes. But what I was saying was there were certain celebrities that you know they didn't have the look that most women are trying to get. You know what I'm saying? There's always a a look. Women are trying to have to basically attract a man, you know what I'm saying? But they don't have that look, and yet they is thriving, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, it just came to me that I'm like, God has a purpose for everyone, and stop trying to think that your purpose is someone else's purpose, and maybe their purpose wasn't to have the look, you know what I'm saying? Their purpose wasn't to have the look. Their purpose was to go up on the scene and act and do whatever they're going to do and be successful and, and, and prove to other women that you don't have to have this certain look. That certain look that you're looking to have is holding you back. You have to embrace whatever it is you have right now because we are all a work in progress. You know what I'm saying? Like, Maybe you're a little thick. Maybe you're a little skinny. Okay. You have to be okay with that. You have to literally say to yourself every morning, like, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Because what you're saying is, I'm okay with who I am. I am not such and such. I'm not Kim Kardashian. And... That's okay. We all cannot be Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? All the people that they kind of put up in the media. Like, them people are who they are. Okay? That's who they were. But take a step back, right, and look in your circumference. Look look at your five mile radius. I mean, go out to the bar. Go out to the museum. Go out to the park, right, and look around. And analyze the real people you see in front of you. Not the people on the media, not the people on your Instagram, not the people on your Facebook, no. Look around you and notice the people that you see. And understand that that is what's real. You sitting here trying to be like Beyonce. Beyonce don't live in your circumference. Those, those, you don't have Beyonce friends. You get what I'm saying? Look at your friends. Build with your friends that you already have. Y'all both, y'all all wanna work out, work out together. Like sometimes we kind of put fear in our life and we bring toxic into our life because we're looking too far out. We're looking at the Beyonce's. We're looking at, you know what I'm saying? We're looking at, Something that is not really in your life. In your life right now is your friends, your family, and your neighbors. And when you really take a look at it, then you take a look at yourself. You're like, I'm fine. When you really take a look at it and you stop comparing yourself to a magazine and things that are just, you know, not real. Because I'm sure if you had Beyonce as your neighbor and she came out to get her mail, she not going to come out and get her mail with the fan blowing. You know what I'm saying? Wig looking good. You know what I'm saying? She ain't going to be going to the mailbox like this. No. Sis going to have her hat wrap on. She probably don't even go to her mailbox. But I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? She going to have on her slippers. She going to be chilling. Her skin will be nice and glowy. Your skin could look nice and glowy. I'm not saying look like who shot John and forgot to kill him, though. No. But 
Sometimes we create fear in our life because we just create false narratives. We we fall too deep into social media. We fall too deep into other people's lives that we just don't know. That woman you want to look like that you see on Instagram every day, the fashion over models, you don't know them. You don't know what they did. You don't know what they do. Okay? So, you know what you do. You know what your friends do. You get what I'm saying? So, set realistic goals for yourself. And stop being so afraid because you may go out and, okay, maybe you're not the cutest person there. But you could be the funnest. You could be the funniest. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to start looking at your pros. Focusing on what you have that's that'll overshadow your flaws. Cause I don't know if y'all know. I'm gonna tell y'all another secret. We all got flaws. Look, I got a pimple. You see it? I seen it. It's sitting there, it be talking to me, be like, says. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, shh, I'm not talking to you right now. You know what I'm saying? But Imagine me not coming on and sharing the message that I have in my heart right now because I got a pimple. Now, I ain't going to lie. The pimple was on my nose. I can't. <laughs> no, let me stop. But we all flawed. We are all flawed. And no one is perfect. And sometimes we start, we are too hard on ourselves. Because we let other people pull our flaws out. We let other people shine too much light on our flaws. When your flaws is not what you should be paying attention to. We are all flawed. <laughs> Even Beyonce. Okay? I, I'm just using Beyonce as an example because everybody knows Beyonce. But I'm not going to go point out every woman's flaws, but... I just want you to sit around and think, you know what I'm saying? I want you to be realistic. I want you to sit around and realize like, wow, that's true. <laughs> and single ladies, if you've been in the house because of COVID, okay, COVID is coming to an end. Everybody got their vaccinations. Everybody could go outside without a mask, almost, you know what I'm saying? Summer is coming. So you, someone's coming, someone's not here. So you still have time to prep. You could do a lot in three months, June, let's say June. You could do a lot in three months. And sorry, you can hear my, now you can hear them in, in they chat. But focus, focus, focus. You could do a lot in three months. I'm not going to tell you that you're going to wake up tomorrow and three days after that and just feel so amazing. Well, you should. <laughs> you need to watch a video a day But you gotta start doing the work Okay Today is the day that you Start Accepting You being single Cause that's not a flaw Okay Accept being single And accept your flaws A lot of times We try to have everything perfect And you know, we be cleaning. We be just trying to sit perfect. We be trying to laugh perfect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We be trying to be cute. Listen. Ooh, my ear edge. I told y'all about my um my little elf ear that I got underneath this. Ooh, I be having this medicine on it because I've been, I've been trying to work on it. But anyway, trying to work on it. I'm working on my flaws. And that's all you could do is work on your work on your flaws and be a work in progress every day until you know you feel like you're there. And when you feel like you're there, you know. All right, sis. Inside voices. <laughs> work on your flaws, okay? And that's all you could do. And if someone doesn't accept you because of your flaws, then 
that person just isn't for you. And that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Guys, and I'm going to be honest too. As a coach, I'm not perfect. So there's things that I go through. And guess what? I got a coach. Thank you, Alexis. <laughs> because there's times where, you know, there's little battles and there's little things that I'm working with. And I'm just like, you know, I need to talk to someone with Someone that could really pull growth out of me. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to talk to people that I feel like will bring me down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I like to talk to people that will will water my seeds. So, guys. Whew, I know the message is, is well put together. When I just, whew, I be feeling it like, yes. Yes, ladies, single ladies, successful ladies, entrepreneurs, be amazing with who you are and work on yourself every single day. Okay, go out and have a good time. And if you see me, be like Amelia. I'm going to be like, hey, girl. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a glass of wine. <laughs> Let's have a good time. Life is too short to be sitting up. Sitting up in my room. Ooh. Ooh, I cannot sit in my room for too long. If I sit there for too long, I just be thinking and thinking and thinking. I be like, oh my God, I got to get out of here. I got to go. You know, I go to my room to go to sleep. <laughs> I try to. Sometimes I just be like, oh, I want to be lazy. Anyway. Coach Amelia Adair here, guys. I hope you guys are feeling good, doing good. And I'm going to see you guys happier, okay, at my next video. Bye for now.